you know, I'm going to teach you how to, you know, I'm going to teach you how to open a computer and how to, you know, how to, to write your own email and how to send an email. And this has been amazing. And for sure, she has now learned how to send an, uh, emails and, and, and do her, her things around the computer. So for sure, there are so many opportunities that this season has presented us. So we'd like our speakers to share with us, you know, how uh, how we can adopt to this new normal and how we can grow our talents and the ideas that are available, the technology that is available. So I'm looking forward to learning today and we have an amazing, amazing set of speakers today. And I'm going to start with uh, here in Kenya, where I am in Nairobi, and we have a guest from Kenya called James Washira. James Washira, are you here with us today? All right, as we wait for James Washira to come, I'd just like to remind our speakers today. So each of us has seven minutes uh, uh, to share with us. I know there's a lot to share, but we'll have to uh, limit it to seven minutes uh, so that at the end of the session, we get to have the Q&A session. So we'll give you seven minutes. Uh, and uh, James Washira, are you here with us? Okay, all right. As as I get to look for James Washira, I'm going to just go ahead and call the next speaker. We also have another speaker from Kenya, and I can see he's here. We have Modest Chabari. Modest Chabari. Yes. Hi. Hi. How are you? Welcome. Uh, thank you so much for having me on this platform, and uh, greetings to everyone who's uh, currently in the meeting. Uh, my name is Modest Chabari. I'm a singer, songwriter, a producer, and sound engineer from Nairobi, Kenya. Now, before before COVID, um, normally I only concentrated on the production side of music. I was never a singer or a songwriter, but a lot of things had been happening around me, and I got so inspired to try and uh, encourage even the people just around me that this is just a stage that we're going through. And I, I thought the best way to even reach out to most people is talk about your own personal experiences uh, because they are relatable to you and maybe someone will find them relatable. For example, this whole time I've been home, I've spent so much time around my parents and it's very easy for us to underestimate the role that our mothers uh, play in our life. And uh, I have a song currently on uh, YouTube that seeks to appreciate the mothers out here for all the sacrifices they do, for all the compromises they make for us, for the unconditional love they give to us. So for me, this whole period of COVID has been a place where I have to self-reflect. And I, as an artist, have to give out enough content that um, helps to motivate the society through these trying and hard times. Uh, and I've, I've developed the skill to a point where now I can even outsource the service uh, out to other people, uh, even poets, uh, even just writing small narratives that um, help people to just say the most within just a few words. Um, writing short musical pieces um, that are able to just explain whatever is happening around us. And also with the, with the help of technology, uh, now we don't, there's no middleman between the artist and the consumers. You're directly linked to the consumers, thanks to internet, thanks with the way people have now mobile phones. So technology has really played a huge part in uh, making sure that I connect with uh, my audience. Uh, and interact with them because in the long run, you want people to relate with you, to relate with your content. Um, and yes, a few challenges here and there, but I think for me, I'm always looking forward to advancing my craft uh, and expanding my boundaries. So I'm also, even in this platform, I'm also looking to work with people even, even outside Kenya. Uh, if you need any help in terms of songwriting, music production, even consultation, mm -hmm. I'm available uh, because I've also realized that networking and collaboration is the best way to push yourself and to learn uh, because you you can't be you can't have the monopoly of knowledge. You have to learn from people left, right, and center. Um, in addition to that, 
uh, I'm also keen to make sure that um, I, as a person, make sure that every single day I contribute something positive to the society. Uh, even this, this includes also just mentoring just people who are around me or um, even volunteering myself uh, to help maybe someone who's in need. And I use again my craft to try and create awareness uh, to the society about everything that is happening. So for me, just uh, in a nutshell, my, my art has been changed. How I approach it, how I look at it, is just no longer me singing and, you know, and performing. It's more of what impact do you get at the end of the day? What uh, change are you impacting uh, in the society? And uh, how, how well have you put yourself so that the people outside there can, can enjoy your content, can consume your content, and can feel like you relate uh, and you understand the things they, they go through. And even during these trying times, uh, I think it's important for the creative industry to also just take a stand when it comes to just trying and uh, educating the society even about all the measures that are being put by our Ministry of Health. So it's, it's important for the creative industry. Sorry. It's important for the creative industry to try and help shape the mentality of the people who are consuming the content. It's important that the creative industry genuinely plays a huge role uh, in ensuring that everything that's happening uh, around us has been talked about in some very in a creative way. Yes. Wow, that's that's amazing, uh, Mr. Chabari. That was uh, absolutely amazing. I, I like what you've said that you know this season has actually you know um, helped you to you know reconnect. It has taken away the middleman. Now you can directly connect to your audience. I think that is amazing for sure because now at this point people are actually uh, getting connected to technology. They are, go they are going online now. Everything is online. So I think that is amazing and I also like what you're doing, uh, you know, impacting change in society, mentoring people and also just looking uh, for ways to contribute to the society uh, positively. I think that's amazing and the song, please make sure you share with us the song uh, yeah. so that you can sing to our mothers as well. <laughs> Yes, yeah, thank yes, you. Definitely. That is amazing. And, and please uh, send us that link so that we can also get to share and, you know, be part of your audience here. Because just as you've mentioned, uh, we yes. also need, this is also an opportunity to network, not just uh, not just locally, but internationally. And, and thanks to uh, World Women Leading Change, because we can do that here. So yes, thank yes. you so much uh, for sharing your thoughts with us and your experience as well. We totally appreciate you. Okay, thank you. All right, so we get to move to our next speaker, and our next speaker is um, from India, and that is pa uh, Pavan, Pavan Naidu. Uh, Pavan Naidu, are you are you here with us? Um, yes, I can see Pavan, uh, but you're muted. I'm not sure whether you're ready. Okay, I think I'm going to come back to you, Pavan, um, a bit later. Uh, so we also have a special guest, um, as an amazing, amazing lady also, uh, uh, from Nigeria, and her name is Augusta. Augusta, um, um, Augusta, the second name is a bit tricky to pronounce, I don't want to murder it. <laughs> But her name is Augusta, and I had seen, yes, she's here. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, thank you. I'm pleased to be part of this Women's Change Community Forum. Yes, I'm a designer by profession, and this pandemic have taught a lot of people, especially the young ones, how to incorporate themselves with us. You know, the technology and everything is helping. People are finding things, you know, encouraging the pandemic has really encouraged people to grow up their skills. There are different skills that are involved in, especially dressmaking, customizing your things, and then things you find joy with in doing. 
and in this, this aspect of uh, the, this in this technology because like me before using zoom and communication over the internet was difficult but with the technology and then the ability of not being able to meet customers on one-to-one -one visits you know you have to learn as i learn i know the young ones are learning too especially these new things that are coming people are learning to make jewelries for themselves people are customizing their clothes when you're going on anywhere you can customize write your name especially with this african print you can remove maybe buy an english wear then use that the african fabric to do them like in those days to make head head wrap like the women the african women they dress on this african clothes and then to tie the hair is part of the costume and it was very difficult with this pandemic people have learned different ways of making things very easy for instance you can just take needle and thread and make a small wrap like this put it on your head then use other things and then you put it different size different ways and there you go it finds you make it looks very easy and then easy then people are learning to make face masks you know when you wear any african wear or any english wear you try to customize your customize your face your mask with like this now if you are wearing maybe a white garment or a white dress you know you just do it by yourself put it in your ears at the end of the of the tip of the end you put rubber band or elastic and there you go because the different ones you buy you spend money buying them and then you can't wash them so when you are able to make your own face mask you can do it to the color of the dress you want to wear do it to the size you to your size so that you can breathe properly you know you make it maybe if it's a wedding dress your wedding costume can go with the color the color of the day or everybody can have a, a, a thing or not everybody using the same color for their face mask you know people are finding things easy and then you can make an order you can make your sizes variety of sizes you know there are so many things that you have we have learned to do you know training people mentoring people especially <laughs> with the, the rates that of the death and so many things so some people are very very quiet they are you know the lockdown you see children complaining of lockdown by the time you they use their toys you know they use their clothes pieces of papers and all those things to make things and then you go to the internet you learn a lot you go to different courses you know learn a lot go to different courses to learn more things that you can do then again with the, the finance you know there are so many things you can do to boost your finance, to boost your health, to make you happy. Instead of just staying at home, by the time you go out to do exercise, you meet people, although there is distance, but you learn and see people talking, people make, make, making yourself happy. You see people who are sad, you try to encourage them, try to mentor them, try to teach them things to do. And you can see the youth now, they are trying to develop different skills, art skills and other skills that they can easily you know, adopt with then you encourage people then there are virtual virtual learning that you can learn you can see and then even when you go to shops you know you see different things that are happening these days things that keeps you busy and keeps you adopted to the to the new system so the technology has played a lot of role in the pandemic to make people learn more. so thank you very much so as we go on we see things that are different countries, different act work, different things are happening, different communications. So many things are happening that are making people to learn more about not just the the not just the negative parts of the pandemic. There are many positive parts, and people are going to, going to courses. People are work not only people on the front line. Then people have done land to appreciate each other, right. appreciate the the more friends. Good one, Allah to be more friendly with, with each other. Then as you learn, there are different oh, oh. like me now, people come to me, you know, even I teach them through the internet on how to make different designs, how to make jewelries. You can make jewelries for yourself. You can customize things. Maybe if, even if it's an ordinary jacket, you know, a long piece of cloth, you can turn it to any form of thing you want to, to use, you know? So there are so many things, so many positive things that are coming out from the mentoring and everything. So I'm very happy for this uh, forum and then women that are trying to make themselves positive 
you can now see that women are trying to be strong. Even mothers teaching their children, even those that didn't go to school, they learn more ways to make their, their children, you know, to be positive. Teaching them toys, with toys, with things in the house, making things. So every child wants to be busy instead of just laying down. Every woman wants to do exercise. Every woman wants to keep fit, you know? And then the type of clothes you wear, take it for yourself. It has been very positive. Then the clothes that are funny, you try to you know, meet with them or speak to them. There are different forums, different facilities that have been set up with this pandemic. People can even work from home. Struggling to go to work is less stressful this day because you can sit in your house and do whatever you want to do with the internet. If it is your business, if it's your sales, you can do it over the internet. Payment and everything makes very easy. Before you go to the bank, in those days, you have to queue for hours. Now you can sit at the comfort of your, of your house. Things we didn't know how to do with the internet, you learn you can transfer money from one point to the other. So your customers, you can tell them, this is the deposit I want. This is the amount I want you to, to pay. They don't have to come to you. With the internet, your money is there and you can see the alert. You know how much is there and you know what type of job you can do for them. So it has brought a lot of positivity. Depression gone, loneliness gone. You are busy and you are happy following the trends and so many things like that. So I thank everybody. Madam Alice, I thank you. Then all the people that have tried to make this program positive, I thank you. The, the Madam Joy, the moderator, I appreciate you. And I see the work you are doing. Then our Kenya people, thank you very much. Then my UK diaspora women, women change lady, Madam Juliet Macafila. She's doing a lot of things to encourage the youth, encourage the women, encourage adults and everybody to come together and be useful to themselves. Thank you very much. I appreciate wow. you all. And all the goals wow. that I've spoken, all the, all the partners we've spoken together, I thank you. My moderator, you, I appreciate you. You look beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mom Augusta. You are just amazing, amazing for Thanks. sure. And I'm, and, and I'm just so happy that you could join us because uh, uh, so, so that our older, our mothers uh, can understand, you know, they don't have to get left behind, that, you know, they can also adapt to this new change and take, they, can, they can also get uh, into this technology and be able to do things uh, the same way, but now differently. So that is really amazing, amazing. And I'm just so happy about the many things you've shared to us, especially about customizing, customize, customizing your own things. Uh, and I like the heart that you shared, that you have shown us, uh, the heart, because, you know, I understand that trying to tie around the headband, especially, you know, uh, uh, the, 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 the head gear sometimes can be so troublesome. Sometimes I try that like three times, four times, and I'm already tired. But now, it's amazing to know that they're already ready-made ones and customized ones that you can wear. Yeah. And also the yeah. weddings have also changed, you know, now with wearing masks, you can customize your own as well. So that's yeah. amazing. And, this, and the other thing that you have just repeated from what our first speaker told us is encouraging people and, you know, reaching out to people and also embracing our virtual learning. And I see a lot of online courses today. So I, I keep telling young people that you don't you don't have an excuse for not, not to learn. There's online, there are online courses and you get you get a certificate and some of them are actually absolutely free. So that's amazing. And you're so happy that you could join us today. And we are so excited to learn from you today and also to get to connect to you. Thank you so much, Mom. I also appreciate you. I totally appreciate you. And thank you once again. Thank right. you. Thank okay, you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. So we get to move on now. And uh, we have a, 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 another guest with us uh, today. Um, going to India, and we have Jansi. Jansi Raja. Jansi Raja, are you here with us? Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear. We can hear you. Yes, welcome. Oh, oh Raj, thank you it's so much. nice to see you today. I, 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 thank you for joining us, and we look forward to hearing from you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Yansi, and I'm from uh, I'm pursuing my master's in JNFU, Masatank. Uh, 
Hyderabad, Telangana, India. And I, before I begin, I would like to thank uh, World for, uh, Forum for Education and Best Innovation University for giving me this opportunity. In college, before COVID-19, we used to have a group discussions live on subjects and uh, 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 staying at home now by taking help of the modern gadgets for research and development in the subjects by learning and seeing audios and videos 2d and 3d forms i learned more uh, i learned uh, i i learned uh, 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 crochet art weaving art and uh, thread arts also and i did uh, hands on activity teaching learning materials uh, uh, youtube channel it's called uh, t5 gurkul and perform art I did uh, Jaho creative and uh, uh, by using technology I learned more information and improve my skills in uh, arts and craft and uh, teaching learning materials of max are for sale and uh, low cost so uh, uh, so basically I'm a painting student and as well as I have a two years experience as a craft teacher so uh, nowadays, because of this COVID, uh, there's a drastic changes came in the teaching industry. So uh, basically in the teaching, uh, uh, we can't uh, uh, preschool education to the primary school uh, children. They don't want to uh, attend the online classes at all. They are so afraid to attend uh, uh, online classes. They are not at all showing interest to attend. So for them, I, I uh, created some products for uh, giving the fine arts flavor into it. So I created some products for children. Uh, for example, this. This is the seventh table, as you can see, seventh table. And uh, yeah, so seven ones are seven. So it's seven twos are 14. And seven threes are uh, 21. Like this type of products I have made for uh, primary school education and as well as the preschool also. And this is another product which I have made that one to 100 letters uh, they can study. They need to open this uh, box and the, like this type of thing to open it for a playing purpose. And uh, this is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They will uh, study and they will uh, close this box after studying it. And like this, uh, we have 10 boxes here. They have to study what are the boxes in it. So I made these all products with the while using a quality paper. So I have done these all products uh, for it for low cost to reach common people. The, uh, during the COVID-19, there are so many children, parents uh, uh, can't uh, afford a teaching learning materials for uh, for their uh, children because uh, they're afraid of uh, buying it children don't want to use uh, if don't if they don't like the uh, material they will just destroy it or just tear it so if i made this products in a low cost so that parents don't bother about the cost they can easily buy and, and they can easily teach us to uh, their children they can simply say come children let's have a, let's play and learn the new things sort of thing so this is what i have done in uh, quarantine time and i would like to give a quick quick slideshow of my uh, uh, paintings. Uh, hi, 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 Chansi. You want to share that on screen? Yes, ma'am. All right, you can go. Yeah, you can go ahead and and, and share.
are you having trouble uh, getting to share the screen? Uh, I couldn't. Uh, actually, it's not open. I'm so sorry. Uh, Nancy, it is the same problem which we faced earlier. Your internet. If you could uh, move to a area where you can get better reception, it will be good. Uh, okay. All right. Um. So maybe I can come back to you when you uh when you're ready. Just just let me know. Uh, Jansi, Jansi, when you're ready, uh, when you when you when you're ready, just let me know when you're able to share the screen, and and then I'll I'll just call you back. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. All right, all right. Thank you. Um. So in the meantime, uh -huh. we're going to move on to our next uh, next guest, and um we have uh we have a guest, uh James Washira from Kenya. James, uh, James Washira, are you here with us? Uh, James Washira. Okay, I don't see James Washira here. Um, so James, in case you're there and, and, and you're set, please let me know. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to go to our next guest. Uh, we have Tej, Tej Praveen from India. Tej Praveen, are you here with us? Yeah, yeah, hi. Hi Tej, how are you today? Uh, I'm good. Uh, how about you? I'm fine. Thank you for joining us. And we look uh, forward to hear from you or regarding this topic that we have today. So, sorry, our guests, I'm going to request you to kindly mute your mic. Uh, kindly mute so that we are able to hear our speakers. Yes, Ted, you can go ahead. Sure, yeah. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Tej Pravin and I'm pursuing my bachelor's from Aditya Engineering College, India. So, okay. First of all, I, I would like to thank V Forum for organizing such a good uh, conference here for engaging uh, all the students and uh, all the students from uh, in internationally. So, first of all, uh, talking about uh, uh, youth adapting to the new normal, uh, see, uh, the word, for, for now, uh, this time, uh, let's take this this very second. So the world has stopped, right? Uh, maybe we, we can actually say the world has paused for a while. So uh, there's a lot of sudden changes that has uh, that has come uh, in the past few months. So there is a limitation of movement in public places. No one's allowed to go out. There's lockdown. There's lockdown in a uh, uh, like lot of countries. So and considering about youth. So considering the part of youth, uh, I want to talk about children. See, uh, like uh, the age group from uh, six years to 13 years. So uh, as, for our, as for our experience, they don't listen to us. So uh, uh, no, no one listen, like the children never listen to us. So uh, keeping this in mind, uh, one person, Mr. Rajag, the CEO from, uh, CEO from Alicia, he is a CEO for uh, Animonta Studios. So he has thought about this and he has started creating comics. So a comic that, uh, you know, uh, that uh, they uh, they show, uh, the comics that show the danger posed by COVID-19 and importance of practicing good hygiene. So uh, in this way, the children can be influenced, like, uh, like in what way they, they need to be, uh, they need to be acting during this crisis and, and then, uh, Going to the next part of youth, that is, uh, to, uh, like uh, youth from high school and graduation and all. So uh, they are all uh, they are all allowed to go out, right? They are all allowed to go out, and uh, a very few people allowed to uh, stay at home, like me. And uh, see, it's very difficult for people to, yeah, it's very difficult for people to uh, suddenly uh, stay at home. This this increases uh, this uh, staying at home increases a lot of frustrations and anger due to social isolation. Uh, and uh, while the days pass uh, in the lockdown, um, uh, optimists have uh, said that uh, you know, uh, lockdown has created more family time for a lot of people. And even psychologists are, have stated that there will be uh, an increase in cases of mental health 
considering the post traumatic stress disorder so keeping this in mind and even people who don't know about this ptsd uh, they have started taking care of themselves you know uh, youth they they got adapted to this uh, like every change that is that, that they going through so uh, people started to take care about themselves by doing some physical exercise and um, uh, following some balanced diet and also by doing some meditation or some kind of spirituality uh, like spiritual health uh, which is uh, again mental health so uh, you know youth uh, uh, like seeing all the situation seeing all the uh, crisis that the world is going through youth has got uh, i mean youth uh, got adapted to these changes even if there is uh, some other change they'll get adapted to it and uh, as i already told uh, in the beginning world has stopped for a while uh, i mean world has paused for a while but not us not our mind so talking about talent improving the talent uh, i want to first talk about discovering a talent so everyone has a talent but uh, it is not necessary that they need to find it at a specific time or a particular time so and uh, why am i talking about discovering and improving talent during this specific time because uh, it is because we have a lot of time we have a lot of our time like the me time so we can explore ourselves exploring as self exploration leads to uh, like you know uh, we will get to know more about ourselves and we will uh, it can also increase our self esteem so a lot of people uh, i've seen a lot of people who are uh, interested in doing a lot of things like painting writing uh, you know fi- uh, film making uh, as far as me uh, i'm interested in film making so i've seen a lot of people to do that uh, just, uh, in my house too my sister started painting uh, okay i want to show one of the paintings that my sister did here's one so yeah and uh, looking at her uh, even i wanted to paint so even i started painting but i wanted to do it uh, in a uh, novel way like without uh, without using any brushes and all and i have painted this using just with my hands this is a girl um i love new dad so i painted this and yeah uh, even my mom i helped my mom create a youtube channel uh, which has a youtube uh, like which, uh, in which we upload youtube videos like my mom's very interested in that so i helped her i guided her and i i'm still helping her to do that and uh, one more thing i want to mention that um, occupation Uh, like the student's occupation need not be the talent like they both can be different like i'm an engineer but i love to uh, love to direct films and someone may be a doctor and uh, they can create art they can uh, you know they can do something else uh, that is not related to their occupation and uh, an art uh, like you know um uh, say uh, having talent does not mean uh, it, it should be uh, artistic or uh, something related to that it, it can be innovative it can be creative like you know creative creativity and innovation innovation lies in every step that we take uh, we just need to look look down properly uh, like see take me for example i am very lazy so uh, even if i turn on the tv television uh, I, i hate to search for the remote tv remote so what i thought was uh, me and my friend are working on this so what i thought was uh, what if uh, there is a device that can that can be operated sitting at any corner of the room like i give a hand gesture and the tv turns on and the uh, youtube comes in and i i can select uh, whatever song i want so uh, everything uh, that is operated by a hand gesture uh, i know there are a lot of uh, products that are um, already in the market but i want to uh, me and my friend uh, uh, we want to make it as cheap as possible for the uh, like the customers to use it so uh, yeah you know uh, whatever you do it need not be productive uh, during this time it can be uh, it, first of all it needs to uh, you know uh, make you happy so do whatever you're happy and i hope everyone safe so yeah that's all for now
Wow, amazing, Tej, that is absolutely amazing. And I like your painting and as well as your sister's painting. I mean, that is amazing. And what you've actually said is very true. That this is the best time to explore ourselves. This is the best, best time to actually, you know, activate our talents and grow our talents. Because the truth is we may never have this time ever again, probably in our lifetime. So this is just the best time, you know, to make uh, to, 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 to make use of the time and just grow our talents, learn new skills and, you know, just, you know, grow ourselves and also do what makes you happy. Yes, if it's uh, that thing that you always wanted to do and you, you, you know that your excuse was time, you no longer have that excuse. So that is amazing. You're doing amazing stuff. And yes, you've told us amazing things. I like what you've said about are you also teaching your mom how to do how to edit videos and all that? That is amazing. Yes, let's not leave our mothers and and our and our, and our elders behind uh, with this shift that's happening to us during this time. Let's also in, engage them and involve them, and you know help help them also to access some of these skills and learn things, you know, and grow themselves as well. So that is absolutely amazing and reminding us about mental health. That is absolutely true. Uh, meditation, physical exercise, that is so true because now we are confined at our homes. Uh, we should not forget to stay active and also to take care of our health. Actually, I hear the um, the, the health people telling us that you know that uh, one of the ways to also beat uh, this COVID is is also staying active and you know incorporating exercise in in our, in our daily schedule. So that's thank you so much for sharing that with us, Ted. Uh, absolutely amazing, and thank you so much for joining us today. I believe that we have learned a lot from you today, and we have picked a few things that we need to implement. All right, so I just want to check, is uh, uh, Jansi, are you able to now share your, your, your screen? Uh, Jansi, are you there? Jansi, are you okay now? Or should I call you later? Uh, okay, okay. Just, ready. Yes. After this? Okay, no problem. All right, okay, yes, please go ahead. Uh, okay, these are the works uh, which I have done in a quarantine time. Uh, this is called a dry point printmaking work I have made in a handmade sheet. Uh, this uh, title is Get Ready to Run. Uh, during this quarantine time, I couldn't go outside. I, I used to do jogging before quarantine. So I missed those all days. Uh, that's why I did this uh, paint printmaking work. And this is the, uh, in my home, there are lots of plants are there. And I found this uh, leaf is like really very interesting. So I did a quick watercolor painting of it. And these are my shoes, uh, acrylic on canvas, which I have done. Uh, and these are like my favorite shoes. I, I mean, nowadays to wear these shoes and roam outside. So I have done this painting. And uh, uh, during this uh, quarantine time, I got to know that there are so many dragonflies used to come uh, afternoon time in, in my home. So I was thought like I will do the dra dragonfly uh, dry point work uh, on uh, banana handmade sheet. This is a print making work. And uh, one more work, it's a watercolor uh, sketch of uh, interior corner. And this is my classroom uh, corners, water monochrome watercolor uh, sketch. And this is Indian uh, tem uh, tempera paints on uh, handmade paper, Indian traditional art. And this is uh, my shoes, which I like regularly. I'll wear these shoes and uh, just to go college. So I'm missing those all days uh, right now. I couldn't go college. So I uh, created this composition. I kept a uh, uh, shoe behind the shoe. I kept a mirror. So I want to get, I, I file this uh, with this uh, work. I would like to say that I want to get ready and go out uh, uh, to call to go college. I am trying to uh, tell this all thing uh, regarding this work. And this is the Indian ink on drawing paper. This is the uh, miniature artwork of Gita Govindam series, uh, the Lord Krishna of devotional God of India uh, with Radha. 
and these are the uh, uh, arts which i have learned uh, in quarantine time the the uh, left one is the knot uh, bag and the right one is the crochet art bag and this is the picture of when i was in uh, 10th standard uh, i used to give a uh, indian traditional classical dance uh, stage performance with this picture i have made a self portrait with uh, uh, fabrics fabric self portrait i have uh, done in a collage medium because i miss those all days because uh, in, uh, in a quarantine time uh, social uh, distance is like very very important i couldn't give now a now one was uh, stage performances i miss those all days so i did this all uh, works uh, on quarantine time uh hello wow okay i you did you finish uh jansi yes ma'am yes ma'am wow my goodness that's absolutely yes. absolutely amazing so guys you, uh, everyone what have you been doing uh, uh with your quarantine time what have you been doing i mean that is all all the uh, the things that jansi has been doing and that is amazing i love the college shoe and that because you miss you miss wearing them you just decided to you know to to paint them and to draw them I love the crochet bag, uh, art bag, and I'm have, I'm gonna have to try that. <laughs> I also like of course, the, fab the fabric portrait. That's amazing! Wow. I mean, you have just you have been you've been using your time so well, and that's uh, just absolutely amazing. So thank you so thank much you for so sharing much, that with us. Yeah, thank, thank you so, you so much. much. And uh, thank Namaste. you. Thank you. Namaste. I'm going to have to ask our host uh, when I call her later, uh, because it's something about um, the, our guest from India. I think everyone from India can paint, can draw. I've seen this with the children as well, because when we have the children's conference and you're talking about talent and showcasing talent, almost all of them, you know, they, they, they have other talents and they can also do art and they can paint. So there's something we need to learn from India today, and we're going to hear that uh, a bit later. So, but now we get to move on uh, and we have another guest from India still. We have Sultana. Uh, Sultana, are you here with us today? Yes, ma'am. Amazing. Welcome, Sultana. Good evening, everyone. I am Sayed Tasmiya Sultana, student of Best Innovation University, studying BSc Ons. Before I start, I would like to thank our Honorable Chairman Bharatlal Meenanji and Chancellor Rupa Vasudevan for giving me this opportunity to showcase my innovation during COVID-19. When we were struck by the pandemic, I was taken aback and I was shocked to see this devastation and negative impact on our economy. And life zone of the people of, from middle class and uh, lower people were very, was very affected. And I was wondering, I was wondering what, what could I do to help myself and people around me. And I was, uh, I was in doubt whether my dream of becoming entrepreneur will be affected by this situation. So first I started from my home. Around the world, everyone was in need of uh, sanitizers during COVID-19, but the cost of the sanitizer was skyrocketing. Then I started researching about it. Then I came up with natural homemade sanitizer by using three ingredients that are I used aloe vera. Because aloe vera leaves are available everywhere, and if you don't have aloe vera leaves, you can use aloe vera gel also. I took aloe vera because it has antibacterial and antiviral properties, and it can moisturize your skin also. In addition to it, I have took turmeric because turmeric has antibacterial property and antiseptic properties. In addition to that, I have took glycerin because it can make your skin smooth and can damage and repair your damaged skin cells. So I to glycerin also. Now I'll tell you how to prepare sanitizer by sitting in home. Scoop aloe vera gel and put it in the blender. Add pinch of turmeric to it and one spoon of glycerin. Mix it in the blender till it become liquid form and you can store it in your bottle also if you want to use further. You can use it for one month also. I have already used it and see. 
if you want full details of this you can watch it in youtube channel available at best i use website um see how simple it is to make sanitizer at home for which we were paying much money now i am very excited to show you something which i am very passionate about that is organic farming i have learned most of these methods from the webinars conducted by best innovation university on zero budget organic farming i am very thankful for the best innovation university for giving me many dif giving me different ideas i have made an addition to it i have used the waste materials are available at my surrounding that are plastic bottles and cotton boxes these are the waste mostly obtained from juice bottles and delivery delivery cab companies and um, you before i show you my product you may have doubt that this paper boxes may weather off when we add water let me clear your doubt what i have done is i have wrapped this boxes with plastic covers waste plastic covers which are available at home in this way i have figured a way to grow crops and to protect my mother earth from pollution plastic pollution now i'll show you my work this is fenugreek in india this is fenugreek in india it is also known as methi see how beautiful it looks you can use this in your uh, to decorate your balconies and also you can use it at your workplaces and you can use this fenugreek as your consumption crop also and uh, i am supplying this fenugreek to my neighbors for free of course this is my way of fighting covid 19 let me tell you if corona is strong we are even more stronger um, I don't know how this pandemic have occurred, but one thing I'm very sure: we youth are very confident to kick back this pandemic six feet beneath and make our country prosperous again. And um, I have been teaching my juniors in my neighborhood about these organic techniques. I'm open to teach the one who is uh, who is seek well, who is who want to seek this knowledge. And, and once again i am very thankful to best innovation university for giving me this opportunity to talk in front of many people and to show my talent and uh, i have gained many in interesting things from best innovation university on note i would like to end my talk by thanking all organizers have good evening and wonderful day thank you wow that was absolutely amazing 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 sultana my goodness i just like first Thank of all you, i like your energy and i like your zeal in what you do and your passion i mean it it just it is just so evident thank you so much and you're doing amazing you, things first of all Thank you've you. even taught us to make a sanitizer okay so i hope everyone from today don't buy those expensive sanitizers <laughs> just go look for aloe vera turmeric and glycerin that's it and just get a blender and just do what we have been told she's even given given us the procedure of how to make it that's amazing and also organic farming you know on zero budget i think that's for sure i have to, just like you say that you know you're available to teach us i'm going to look for you because i want to i will invite you for the kids leading change show because you need to come and teach our children to also do that for so sure mom for sure mom yes thank you Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, thank you so much and we are so happy that you could join us today and share that with us and also uh, uh please pass our regards to best uh, best innovation university because for sure you're doing an amazing job and Dr. Rupa is here with us. All right, so we get to move on now to our next speaker. And we have I'm not I just want to check if James Washira has been able to join us. James Washira from Kenya, are you here? Uh James Washira. Okay, so I cannot still find him. Um James Washira, but anyway, I'm going to go to our next speaker. And our next speaker is Pavan. Uh Pavan, I, I saw you earlier. Are you here with us, Pavan? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Pavan, yes, welcome. We look, yes, we look forward to hearing from you. Welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. I'm glad to be a part of this conference. 
First of all, I would like to say thanks to World Farm Education and Dr. Rupa Vasudevan Man, the Vice Chancellor of Bharatiya Engineering Science and Technology University, for giving this golden opportunity. Let me introduce myself. I am Pawan Naidu from Karnataka, India, studying at Best Innovation University, Anantapur, India, Anantapur, Andhra Pradesh, India. Due to this pandemic situation caused by two, caused by COVID-19 coronavirus, we are all get locked in our homes. I'm very, I'm very interested to learn new things. Even being as an agricultural student, I am trying to learn some computer languages like Java, JavaScript, HTML, and also some, and also some of the technology developments. And by this, I'm trying to innovate something which, which is useful for our agricultural purposes. My elder brother, Mahesh Naidu, is a mechanical engineer, and I am a student of an agriculture. This COVID-19 gave us an opportunity to collaborate and develop something new from both our skill set. A year ago, my brother invented a model of a robot named Multipurposal Agricultural Robot, simply called as Agribot. He wrote a book on that Agribot. Now I am trying to implement my brother's project on that robot. This Agribot is a concept for the near performance of agricultural process, and this concept focuses on low cost of the product once optimized. Agribot will prove to work to the agricultural operations like cultivation, sowing seeds, flowing, watering, and pesticide sprinklings and harvestings. The function of the robot is performed by renewable energy. This robot is completely eco-friendly to our nature. No need to be used any type of fuels like petrols, diesels, and no need to be charged. It, it will be automatically charged by the solar cells by the help of by the solar energy. It is expected that the robot will be supported for the farmers in improving efficiency of their operations in the farms. Okay. Next, if you come to the advantages of the robotics, there are many advantages to robotics as well as removing the high cost of the labor. One is that it will do a job very respectively and very much as same every time. So you can get some huge quality improvement in number of areas. One of the key advantage in this agriculture is that robot can work 24 hours a day as human can, as human can work only hardly eight hours per day. This, ro this robot reduces maximum difficulties for farming in farming. This agribot is a concept for the near performance of agricultural proceeds, proceeds and this concept focus on the low cost of the low cost of the product once optimized. Agribot will prove to work through the agricultural operations like cultivation, seed sowing, growing water pesticides, and all. Agribot is designed for agricultural purposes. It is designed to minimize the labor for farming in addition to increase the speed and accuracy of work. It performs an elementary function involved in the farming that is like Plowing the field, sowing the seed, covering the seeds with the soil. This robot is designed like it can be, and means uh, it performs more than two to three functions once at once only. This robot can also be controlled manually by the Androids or iOS mobiles. Now I would like to show you some photos about our model. About about our model project. As you can see here, this is our model project. This is our model for the project. This is the robot. You can see here, here is an O robot. At number one, you can see solar panels. By this, by the help of these solar panels, we can convert solar energy into the, uh, solar energy into mechanical energy for the processing of this robot. And next, these are the components used in the robot. This robot can be, and I, this robot can be connected to the mobile Android mobiles and iOS mobiles by using this ESP Wi-Fi model, modular. And this here we can see moisture sensor. 
this moisture sensor is also placed in our ro robot this moisture sensor senses the moisture content in the soil in the agricultural land it senses it senses the moisture content in the soil and uh, detects how much percent of the moisture should be present in the soil and automatically the motors will be if less if less moisture content is present in the soil automatically the the motors will be on it you can see here here is a blue pipe blue pipe attached to a white motor see here between these two between these two wheels you can see a sensor this is a moisture sensor this will be connected to this motor whenever it detects less moisture in the soil automatically this this motor will be activated and the, and water will be poured from this pipe to the soil to maintain the moisture content and here we can see a motor this is an harvester which 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 is used to cut the which is used to cut the waste plants in the in the agricultural land here left side we can see the 3d design of our 3d oh white 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 here we can see the 3d design of our robot and this is the this is the side view of a prototype and here and this robot can be connected to our android mobiles and our ios mobiles by the by the app called blink app when we open this app blink app this this we will be shown there will be shown some of the buttons with which these buttons are used to control our robot here we can see the buttons like G, gp16 gp5 gp4 gp0 etc etc and so many buttons will be provided each button has its own specification like uh, here we can see gp14 has seeding gp13 has harvesting gp12 has water pump if we press any if we press button if we press gp13 harvesting will be started if we press gp14 seeding will be started and if we press gp12 water pump will be started in this manner it will be set up to control our agribot and here we can see block diagram this block diagram shows how it how we could connect blink app to our robot blink app to that robot by we connect blink app to this robot by the help of the cloud cloud which means a website we log in to the blink app through this website this website will be connected to the all robots and we we connect this uh, website to the robot and the blink app and if we connect this website to the robot and blink app automatically our robot will be came into our android controls and we can be control this robot in our in our own android mobiles or ios mobiles and we and we our brothers me and my brother we are looking at developing this robot to look forward in incubation for our ideas by best use center of excellence that's all from that's all from my side Thank you so much. Wow, wow. Talk of innovation. Okay, I just want to ask you, Pavan, are you the one who developed that with your brother? Yes, ma'am. My brother wow. has, Have you in, this cover, in this lockdown, my brother had gave me the idea about his project. And I even I have interest in like uh, robotics, like, which I mean, these robots may be helpful to, for farming in agriculture in future this may develop some more in future this may help uh, for farmers to farm easy in their works this robot makes farmers the farmers work easier my brother my brother has worked on this project since uh, since one year hence he said an idea about he said me about the idea about this agricultural robot and i would like to help my brother to develop this one and we and now we both collaborated to each other to work this project wow i That's mean all. that is absolutely amazing paban absolutely amazing i mean you call it agri ag, agribots right is it agribots i am yes ma'am agribots yes. multi purpose yes, agricultural that's... robot mm -hmm. Wow, agricultural robot. I mean, that is absolutely amazing. I mean, that's farming, farming going the technological way. And that's amazing because you've, you've mentioned that it helps, you know, it can harvest, it can, it can, it can plow, it can, it can sow seeds and all that. I mean, and it also reduces the cost, increases product, uh, productivity, and it can work for hours. I mean, 
that's that's Amen. absolutely absolutely amazing Thanks you're so doing much. a wonderful job and you you're actually Thank making you. the best use of your of your of your you know covid season Thank so you. that's amazing 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 stuff i mean we've been inspired today and challenged as well <laughs> challenged to also do something this time and to make sure that we come out you know better that when, that when it started so that's amazing and thank you so much for sharing with us today Pavan. Thank wow you. what a day what a day what amazing lessons today to learn and so i'm going to go straight ahead and invite our host for today because i think she's here with us and she's going to be telling us wow what is happening at best uh, best innovations university because all these people are coming from that side so i see dr rupa you're here with us hello joy Hi, Dr. Rupa, you're doing an amazing job. Your young people there, my goodness, that's, they're doing such an amazing uh, job, so talented. So I, I, I think you should tell us a bit about the secret at, 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 at Best University. Yes, um, the aim is to encourage the youth. I think uh, you all are doing a great job because as institutions, we are uh, doing our bit to give back to the students whatever knowledge and promote and encourage them with uh, incubation and with uh, entrepreneurial uh, skill sets because that's what our farmers and our agriculturists lack. Now, I'm very happy that uh, Dr. Ayla Aljofre, WWLC and WWLC Africa with Vanja, with Dr. Alis and you. I think you all are doing a great job by providing these youth a platform. And it's such a great encouragement for them. I think we are now all moving towards cultivating this next generation of creative thinkers, creative leaders, and entrepreneurs. We are building this community. We are helping them make connections, sharing their experiences, giving them a platform. And I think we are providing them these tools that can equip them for life. And I, I thank uh, WWLC and we had only two best innovation students today. The, uh, the, the, this, uh, uh, she was uh, Mamsi, uh, the, she was an artist and she is uh, recommended to us by the State Department of Art from Andhra Pradesh. So she's already there uh, with her paintings and she's trying to now innovate. Uh, with, uh, with other things like craft and helping math uh, for the students who are at home. But that's a fact. We don't have math kits. We have science kits all across, but we don't have math kits. And I think it's a great initiative she's taken as an artist that she's trying to do math. She's not from Best Innovation University, but I think she's, she's doing a fabulous job of reaching out to individuals who need innovation, innovate and she can follow I think uh, also the fact that the, uh, the student from Aditya Institution who was here today to speak about what he is doing for outreach. I think uh, Vanja and uh, Alice and Joy and Dr. Ayla, I think what we are doing through these dialogues is really encouraging these youth to be coming out in all their colors, trying to innovate. And I think we are trying to impact them with positive and sustainable change in their lives. And uh, this in turn will make a huge change to the communities and then in turn to the world. I think uh, it's, it's a plot to all of us. And Best Innovation University is just one small seed in the huge ocean that we all are uh, swimming in. And with this COVID pandemic, I think uh, there is a huge surge of innovation, problem solving skills, uh, trying to have different ways and means. I mean, I, I remember. Dr. Ayla started this series of webinar because she was at home and she had this huge network. So that's innovation. I think everywhere in each one of us, there is hidden an innovation. There is hidden the skill set, this knowledge. I think uh, that's what we are driving. And uh, driven by the youth voice, this youth conference, I think, is introducing the youth or, and the people to new ways of thinking about. Uh, creativity, innovation, and problem solving. And I think that's the need of the hour. Uh, that's the need of the day. We need this encouragement. And I thank you all. Uh, and uh, you could get in touch with us for more innovative techniques from West Innovation University. We are ready to share all that we can. Thank you, Joy. 
Wow, thank you so much. Absolutely amazing, Dr. Rupa. You're doing an amazing job for sure uh, with giving these young people a platform. I think we need a best, uh, we need that uh, your university here in Kenya because we actually have a lot of talent here, but uh, that we don't have the platforms because this is what we need to do. Uh, these platforms for, for, for young people to be able to come, you know, and showcase their talent. And just the other day, uh, we had a man here in Kenya who uh, designed um, a, a very beautiful table that becomes, it can be folded into a table, it can be folded into a seat, it can be folded into many things. So, and that was just the, 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 the innovation that you're talking about. So we need these uh, platforms for sure to be able to encourage our young people. So that's amazing. Uh, that's amazing, Dr. Rupa. You're doing a wonderful job and we're so happy to be partnering with you. I, I think I need to come and do my master's mm -hmm. there at Best University. Mm -hmm. You know, sure, you're Thank most you. welcome, Joy. We are here with Bharat Lal Meenaji also uh, to support us, and we have the entire staff here who is supporting us today. Uh, so, yeah, we're all here <laughs> supporting our students. Thank you. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you so much. And we totally appreciate you uh, today. We also appreciate everyone from the university and all the, all the students. They are doing an amazing job. So I think because we've come to the end of our, uh, of our session, I'm going to invite um, Ambassador Alice once more uh, so that she can introduce uh, the, the president for WWLC and also just recognize the other presidents in the house. Hello, Joy, Joy can you hear me? Uh, yes, Alice, I can hear you, but from a distance. Uh, and now, can you? Oh, yes, that's okay. Yes, yes, my phone has a problem. Thank you so much. I think today I'll take home this wonderful recipe for, for sanitizer. Actually, I want to finish this conference. I go straight to my kitchen. I make my own homemade sanitizer. Thank you so much, Best University, for and, and teaching young people on how to be independent and how to, how to do this. This is what we call entrepreneurial skills you are giving them. And by the time they finish their, their education, trust me, they'll be employers, not, not, not employees. Thank you so much uh, for giving us that, that, that um, recipe. I think moving forward, no one, no one should go, um, go home or, or stay in a house saying that you don't have sanitizer or you don't have money to buy sanitizer because you can do it right inside your kitchen and Voila, you have a sanitizer. Thank you so much. Today was a wonderful day that we have learned so much from our young people. Every, every day we learn from young people. And I think if there's anything this pandemic has done, it has helped us to communicate with our young people. It has helped us to, to see the innovations young people have. I keep on saying that young people, they are like a sponge. They, they absorb, they absorb what they are taught like, like sponge because listen to this, Young, young people from, uh, from uh, Best University and even from Kenya and from everywhere, from Africa, Asia, Europe. Anytime you listen to them, it's like they are absorbing information like a sponge and they're able to do so much. So you can imagine if we took time, if, especially Africa, let me talk about Africa where I, where I sit. If, if only the African government took time to invest on young people, if they, they invested heavily on young people, educating young people, mentoring young people, both in leadership, entrepreneurial skills, and everything to do, to do with them, empowering them to be better people, to employ, to employ themselves, to empower themselves, you can imagine what a, what a world would be having. But this, this challenge of unemployment, we wouldn't be talking about unemployment because all of them will be busy doing their own stuff. So today we have learned a lot. And thank you so much for our speakers today. Thank you for our listeners, uh, for listening to what young people have to offer to us. Thank you, Mama from, from Nigeria, who is the current in, in, in uh, UK for teaching us so much and teaching us technology. I, you know, we are old, we are grandmas, but technology, this COVID has taught us uh, to, 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 to learn technology, to, to learn so much. Um, like Joy later said, and you also said, when we started, I was so scared of Zoom because this is something I've never done before. 
And I was wondering where would I start? But today I'm a pro. <laughs> I can communicate with anyone. I can talk to Russia. I can talk to US, the UK, everywhere. Like now, I, I, because, I'm, I'm, uh, because of COVID, I'm diabetic and I'm, I'm scared of leaving home. I can do so much from my house using Zoom. So we Thank have learned a lot, you know, not just taught, taught us a lot. And uh, this pandemic, the, there is a very big uh, silver lining on that ground of COVID. Uh, which the, we are all taking advantage of. Let me take this moment to uh, appreciate the, the best, best university lecturers and uh, professors who are in, in the house. Thank you so much for being there for us. We always count on you. And every time you have students who are ready, who are ready to teach us, thank you so, so much. I don't know whether Dr. Arupa, you'll give us the opportunity for them to, one or two of them to say hello to us. So, so that people can know who are these people behind these great minds in Bestia University. Dr. Rupan, do we have anybody who can show us at least what, you know, what they do to make these students become so in, in intelligent and, and uh, become so innovative? Uh, we have Sandeepika here, we have Bhargavi here. They are the ones, uh, and then we have Manjunath, we have Saujanya, they are the faculty of Best Innovation University. Uh, anyone would like to make a, a, a comment on uh, Tarun is here. Tarun, would you like to articulate on what exactly goes on in the class that you know you model them so beautifully that uh, they are here? Uh, Bhargavi, they are all there. The faculties are all here. A few of them are here. Yeah. Thank you. But I don't think they're uh, okay coming online maybe next time yeah maybe next Let time know. Have your faculties our faculties and the gpbtc faculties all of them talking that'd be wonderful Th Thank you. Please let them know that we do appreciate them, and thank you so much. And 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 then we we have we have we have uh, Juliet. Juliet, thank you so much for bringing our speaker today. Juliet from United the United Kingdom. Please say hello. Just one one minute, Juliet. Um, thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Ayla and of course uh, all the presidents and uh, Madam Alice. I just want to say I kept to my promise. Last week I told you that I would uh, mention it to the councillors over here. I'm still trying to, I brought some councillors together and they now know because I told them about that innovation of that young um, uh, the youth of uh, she had made the mask for the, the deaf and uh, the, the new uh, mask and um, the, the, I was so inspired. So as I speak here today, uh, Councillor Lewis from Camden, mm -hmm. as I have invited uh, Councillor Lewis, I can see Lean Bands here today with us. Many, many thanks Lean Bands who is joining us from outside London as well. I just want to appreciate your work and you're inspiring us here. We are, we are picking um, the great development and bringing it right here and creating those great exchange programs. Thank you, India. Thank you, uh, Kenya. Uh, thank you, everybody, Nigeria. And thank you, Mama, beautifully presented. I appreciate you, designer. You have made thank them you. know that Mamas know how to do things and we love you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank Juliet. You. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Juliet. Uh, with that, I want to come back to uh, Africa and I want to recognize a good friend of ours who is ever with us here. He is, uh, this is World Women Leading Change, but we have a gentleman who is ever with us here and we want to take this moment because yesterday we said we are starting uh, the, 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 the forum for men leading change. And today I can see we have our president for men leading change. Uh, wow. Mr. Andiba, can you say hello to us, Mr. Andiba? Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys? We are hello, fine, Mr. Andiba. Hello. Yes, yeah, good to see you. Good to see you all. I've been learning a lot, although I came in late, so I'm just listening to the views. And um, thank you. It's an honor to be here with you all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Andiba. And I can see, I can see our speaker who had. Uh, who was who had, uh, had disappeared is is back. I, I can see uh, Washira join. Do you have a minute for Washira, or can he come next week? I think we have uh, we have a, a few minutes. You can give him five minutes. Uh, Mr. Washira, 
I think he has a problem. Is his phone has a problem? Is coming in and out now? He has gone out again. Mr. Washira, are you there? Washira, yeah, I can see he's here and he's unmuted, but you cannot hear him speaking. I think he has a problem. Let me go to the, our next president, Liseho, Liseho from South Africa, Liseho. Liseho. Liseho, unmute if you are, in, if you are there. If Lizego is not there, let me go back to go to my sister, Ambassador Debbie, Ambassador Debbie from South Africa. Bless these children of ours today. Yes, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, um, thank you so much. Uh, you know, my signal is being just going out and coming in. However, really, I'm so humbled and I'm very excited of this kind of innovation. And thank you so much, Tarupa, for really extending your expertise and your knowledge to these young people. Thank you, thank you, President Alice. Thank you, uh, President Juliet. Thank you, President Joy and, and Jigelela. Jigelela also, thank you so much. You know, I've Thank missed, you. but I'll, I'll watch on the Facebook. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, our president from South Africa, Ambassador Debbie. I think we, uh, if we don't have any other president, I can't see any other president from uh, from Africa. Do we have, uh, I'll hand over to our, our, our global president, um, Dr. Haira, so that if there, we have any president from global president who is in the house, she'll recognize them. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Ira. I think Dr. Ira is not Hi. with us right now. Dr. Ira. Hi, yes, everyone. You. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. You can hear me. All right. Hello. Uh, thank you. Uh, First of all, Ambassador Alice Kamunge, President for Africa, and thank you, Joy, for moderating the session, and Dr. Rupa, the pink diamond, my pink diamond from India, and all the students of Bessu University, Dr. Bharat, that has been uh, a very, very loyal partner for the past three months. <laughs> We are moving one by one and also Juliet and all the speakers and all the other president that come. So yesterday we have a very interesting topics about teen pregnancy. So one of the speakers said that he doesn't, uh, sometimes the youth become pregnant in Africa because they don't have anything to do. And I think there's many things to do when, 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 we have this conference and we have uh, all creative art people in the whole world put together. We have a lot of things to do. So let's, let's support the youth because I think humanity is based on creativity and creativity is based on curiosity and imagination. So let's uh, follow uh, what Dr. Rupa did uh, with Bethsu and maybe bring Bethsu to Africa or even to Indonesia so we can produce creative mind. I'm sure there is so many Albert Einstein will be born in the next few years. I'm sure there's so many Tesla and I'm sure man will be able to go to moon, Jupiter, Saturn. And we need to empower the youth because of this. So they have a lot of things to do, believe me. <laughs> Thank you uh, so much. And uh, uh, President Wanja is not here. Um, I send her love and blessing. She's not well. And uh, youth, rise, rise. Thank you. Thank you.
thank you very much, uh, 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 Dr. Ira. Thank you so much. Actually, what Dr. Ira has not said is, World Women Leading Change, a platform for women. And you know, a platform for women, women come with the children, they come with husbands, they come with families, they come with business because they are more taskers. You know, women more task. So when we come in, World Women Leading Change is carrying everybody on board. And now we have started because of teenage pregnancy, which is threatening the whole world because of bond. When, we, when I was talking to some kids, they said it's because of bond and it's because of technology and it's, it's because of ignorance sometimes. Now we have come, our old women leading change, we have come with a, with a, with a, 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 a program which we are starting and we have already started here in Kenya and we are rolling it out everywhere in the whole world and we are calling it youth talent such. So, for our, so that our youth are busy, we have started a talent search. So in every country, let the youth come together and start doing their talent, creating, mentoring, men, mentor each other, create opportunities where you, you go to network and do build your talent, you know, develop your talent. Because when you come together, you can develop your talent and you have no idea where your talent can take you. And every year we'll be having at the month of talent, World Women Leading Change, month of talent competition. And we are going to have international competition on talent. So every country, especially India, India, uh, Dr. Rupa, let the young people in India start and doing their talent search. Uh, Kenya has already started doing talent search on football, on music, on innovations, on everything, mention it. And once every year we'll be bringing the youth together so that they network and grow. And that's what World Women Leading Change is doing to help young people so that even when there's something like COVID like this one, they have something to keep themselves busy. It is amazing how we started this um, a week ago and already we have more than 500 youth who have come together and they have started uh, practicing on talent uh, development. And uh, November, we are having finals in Kenya. We are having finals to, to, to pick the best in Kenya. So next year, here we come. Indonesia, we are with you and we are going to defeat everybody. Kenya will defeat everybody because you are the first to start. Bring them to India, uh, Ambassador <laughs> Alice. We go to Himalaya. Yes, we are meeting in Himalaya to compete. The, our young people will show us what talent means to them. So here we come, Kenya is coming to compete and we'll go, come back home with all the trophies if other countries don't practice. Youth from all over the world, let's develop our talent. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you so much today. I hope we'll be starting to see the talents they are developing and we are going to encourage them and empower them. Thank you so much. Back to you, Joy. Amazing, amazing, uh, Ambassador Alice, and I'm looking forward to that. All right, we've come to the end of this uh, session, and for me, to once again appreciate our speakers. You, you, you've really challenged us today and shared with us amazing stuff, and uh, we are so happy that you uh, that you 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 are so kind and, and uh, shared your knowledge and your wisdom and the amazing things you're doing with us today. So for me, I will close with a quote. Um, at the end of this pandemic, we're going to have two kinds of people. Uh, the first kind of people is the people who are going to, uh, the frustrated people who are going to, uh, who are going to struggle to start again and to fit into the new, uh, to the new season that we're going to face. And number two, they are going, the second set of people is the people who are ready to face uh, post-COVID, people who will have new skill sets, the right mindset, and the right attitude. What is the difference? The difference is how we spend our time during this season. This, this, uh, uh, the difference is uh, what we choose to do with this time. So it is upon every one of us to decide how we want to land uh, at, the other, uh, at the end of the other season. So this is our challenge to all of us. Uh, and I hope you have a good time and remember to take care of yourself and stay safe. God bless you all. Joy, Until we meet again. Joy. Joy, yes. 
I yes, can see that our speaker, our speaker, Mr. Washira, is here. I don't know what's going on with Washira. Okay, yes, I can see him now. Hi, Mr. Washira. Can you say hello to us even though you want to show? Can you say, say hello to us? Yes, yes. Washira, yes, what happened? I can see you, and I'm very sorry. In fact, I've been struggling with. I've been struggling with network in and out, in and out from four. I have been very prepared. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I don't know what, what what the plan is. Maybe we can show next time, or if there's some time, maybe I can. I don't know how, what the moderator will say. All right, uh, Mr. Shina, we can give you five minutes. Yes. OK. Um, I think my, mine was my, was just to talk about um, the advantage that we should take during this uh, time when people are at home, when nothing is really moving. And uh, mine would be a very short, just a very short, uh, brief talk on uh, like what we can do as, as people who are in the creative industry. I believe that uh, creativity is in us. We don't need to go uh, to the office to be creative. We don't need to go anywhere to be creative. We don't need to. We don't need so many things to be creative. But creativity is within uh, us as as human beings who are in the creative art. And um, I have taken advantage myself of, of uh, this situation where where there has not been so many movements and activity to just try and rediscover my talent and my gifting. And I thought that the best thing that we can do as human beings is to maybe some time to take a break some time and get back to yourself and try and see what are some of the giftings, talents and abilities that you've been given and how can you enhance them so that they can be helpful to you and to the other to other people out. In fact, somebody said that what you have and you die, what, what you have and you don't give away, when you die, you go with it. But what you give away in terms of knowledge, in terms of, in, in terms of in, uh, encouragement, you leave it even behind after you're long gone. That's the reason why we remember so many people who came this way and because of their giftings and talents, they brought it outside and that's why we remember them. So if you rediscover what you have within yourself and you work on it, during this time especially, it is, it is not all lost. When people are saying that we are not going to work, there's nothing we, I can do. I believe there's a lot that we can do on ourselves, which is the most investment that you can ever do. So if you take advantage of this situation of the COVID-19, where not many things, where not many things are happening, and come back to yourself and rediscover yourself, grow and become even stronger, so that when the challenges of life come after this, then you will be able to have a muscle to face to face that. Um, if it is music, if it is uh, if it is uh, acting, if it is whichever field it is that is in that that we all fall in, I believe there's something that you can do during this time that maybe you don't know how important it is. But I have discovered that this time has given me time to reflect on myself and try and develop myself, try and grow that which I have, so that coming next come the season where the things will be open, then I will have a muscle to be able to face what I want. To, I mean, what I would always wish to to face in life. I believe that um, we all have right to discover what it is. We might sit back and say that we are expecting things to come from outside there if you have something that you can do with your hands then you don't need any other successful it's within reach you don't have to go anywhere to go and reach what you need in life and we have we came into this world equipped with tools and equipment for success so anybody who you see successful you're not going to get success from anywhere else it is during the times which are the, maybe the down moments when right and i think this is what we should be doing during this time Try and do an inventory about your life, about your business, about what you're doing. Try and concentrate on the within your life situation. And during this season, you will find that this is your power moment. And if you exit this time with that power, then come next time when we get into, into the normal life, then you'll have a muscle which will be above every other person. And this will be successful for all of us. My encouragement for, for all of us, those people who are in the creative uh, field, in the art field, Try and rediscover what it is because I always understand, I always hear, I always uh, know in my mind that whatever you have as a talent is within you. The only thing that you need to do as a person is to develop it and grow it. And this is the best time to do this kind of thing. 
to do some research on some fields that you felt that you need to grow in, do some research, do some write-ups, and try and equip yourself with the muscle that you need to get out there. It has been a wonderful time for me doing all this sort of work that you're seeing around me. Uh, I, 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 have, I have enjoyed this time and I have really discovered that it is during this time that I will identify the 2020 during the COVID-19 time that I discovered some of the strength that I have within myself, but I had not uh, utilized them yet. So it is good to identify seasons that come and go with something that is positive that will help you in future. Seasons come every time and go. This time will go. What will you say as a person that during the COVID situation, this is what happened to me? If you get to that point of um, self rediscovering, then this time will not be a wasted time. In fact, it will be a power time for all of you. Till meet again, thank you so much. I wish I had more time. I could have shown you some of the things that I have done. And um, because of time, I respect the time. And I know that we all have time that is programmed for other things. And I would like to really appreciate. And thank you so much for this opportunity. It's something that I've been waiting for. And I wish I can get more of this time that we can talk to our people and try and plant some few seed in them. And I know when you plant a seed in a fertile land, it will definitely grow, it will definitely yield some fruits. And I know this could be an, an, a platform that we can plant seeds to the young people which will generate, uh, which will grow with time and everything matures with time. Thank you so much. Bye. Wow, I think Mr. Washira, we, we, we needed to hear you. <laughs> we needed to hear you for Thank sure you so because, much. wow, you have, you have really um, inspired us and reminded us of very important things. Yes, and the message is loud and clear rediscover yourself, rediscover yourself. You know, thank you so much for sharing that with us. And also build, let's build our, our talent muscles. Let's develop ourselves again, you know, let's use our down moments, you know, to build ourselves up. I like what you're saying repeatedly that this has been the most wonderful time for you. It's been the time that you have enjoyed most. Wow, amazing. So I, I really, I love your attitude. You know, while others are complaining that this has been a tough time for you, it's actually been the best, the best of time. And you've reminded me about uh, um, as, uh, about a quote that also says the grave is the richest place in the world because people die with uh, um, dreams that were never, you know, yeah. realized, you know, books that are never written and, um, and many things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's, let's, yes. let's, let's, uh, let's aspire uh, uh, and decide that today we are going to start, you know, launch ourselves again and rediscover ourselves. And, you know, if it's research we need to do, if it's a skill that we need to get, you know, I think this is the time. So the message is loud, uh, loud and clear, as I have said, so that the, 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 um, the back stops with us. So the ball is in our court. So let's go back and uh, to the drawing board, you know, and rediscover ourselves and, and, you know, develop ourselves. All right. So we'll not keep you any far, any longer. I believe we have learned a lot today and we've been inspired and, you know, we are ready to go and rediscover ourselves again. So from me, I want to wish you a, a, a wonderful evening um, and morning, if it, depending on where you are. Uh, and also invite you for Sunday. Sunday, we are talking about dreams. Yes, you're talking about dreams. So please join our children and please invite children from uh, different parts uh, where you come from to also come you know, and get to also share what are their dreams and get inspired as they, as they also learn and grow. Remember, as Dr. Ayla has reminded us, idleness, idleness is what we want to kill and especially with our children because it's affecting them and we have these platforms. So let's, let's utilize them. Let's invite our nieces, our niece, uh, our nephews and our neighbors, uh, you know, children in our neighborhood to come and attend our children's uh, kids conference. All right. Okay. Do enjoy your, um, your, the rest of your day and um, until we meet again uh, may the Lord bless you thank you thank you so much thank you thank you India thank you Indonesia thank, thank you, you South Nigeria. Africa thank you Nigeria thank, thank, you. thank you UK and thank, thank you so thank much you. everybody thank you our speakers thank you so much thank you Mr. Adiba <laughs> Asante Sana, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank and thank you to all the key speakers. Yeah. We love you all. Thank you, Mommy Alice.